Hi there, welcome back, and today we're gonna talk about what XR. The main reason why I believe it's important to talk about this topic first is mainly we, we need to be able to, to know exactly what are we developing, um, what, what's the main main core, what are the technologies available out there, and and which one which one of them we're gonna decide to 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 pick in order to start our development process. So, but first we need to start talking about XR. XR is it's an acronym and it stands for Extended Reality. And it's just a superset of different technologies that are. These technologies are the virtual reality, the augmented reality, the mixed reality. It's just basically grouping them up all together and just coming up with this term, which is Extended Reality. And the main reason why they were grouped is because they all share something in common and it's basically the creation of uh, new experiences um, for users uh, by providing uh, a virtual elements or even virtual worlds. You, you hear so much about these R, like VR, AR, MR. I mean, if somebody talks about any of these, just related to XR. Now we're gonna talk about augmented reality. And augmented reality is basically an extension of the real physical environment with virtual elements. What this means exactly is uh, that basically within the, the real world, uh, I'm going to be able to interact, or not necessarily to interact, but to, to, to experience virtual objects that are represented, for example, like the table uh, or my... or or like the table where I'm eating my dinner, or where, um, I don't know, the kitchen, the stove, um, creating a virtual element, like a virtual pan that is cooking using my, 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 my real kitchen. So it's just basically an extended version of the real world by using virtual. Some of the examples that you, probably the most, the most popular example that you might see out there is uh, Pokemon Go. And Pokemon Go was, you know, was a boom like in a couple of years, a couple of years ago when everybody, you know, were playing that. Uh, everybody was walking outside. Basically, uh, the application. Once you sold the application, uh, the application will track the location of your phone, and therefore it will, uh, within, it will create a, a virtual world as well. Uh, because that was the whole game, it will create a virtual world and based on your location you will have to find out, you will have to, to catch or find Pokemons out there so basically which means that you have to move somewhere else and you couldn't stand uh, wherever you are at, right? Uh, any place where you are playing the game because otherwise it would have been impossible to just catch Pokemons. It's a, it's a funny fact, it's just, I just remember, I, I never got the chance to play it but I remember when people start playing these and you know people that never go outside or just for the most part stay lay on their beds or stay on the couches their house i mean and then they will find this this game and start just going outside walking outside to weird places even uh, just for the sake of catching uh, pokemon that's something that you know it was kind of cool um but it was kind of like crazy to think that how, how something like that uh, was encouraging people to actually move. And it's just an excellent, um, it's an excellent representation of what augmented reality and it's just providing a new, 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 new experience for the user, a new interaction for new ways to, to interact with the, with the virtual world by using the, the physical world. For augmented reality, you know, you, you have to have crazy, uh, Anything crazy, I mean, everybody has a smartphone, so that's just more than enough. Um, as long as it has camera, of course, a screen, and then a processor where uh, the application is gonna, gonna run the augmented reality application, uh, that's just gonna be plain. And for, for this scenario, if you're gonna focus or gonna do some development on augmented reality, uh, you might have a different price range of, uh, for, for this equipment that you need. 
but I mean it could be as low as nothing like if you already have a smartphone which I I'm pretty sure that you even you, you're probably watching this video from from your phone but if you just have one smartphone that's just plain and you're good to go you can start doing some development on, on augmented reality you can also find equipment that can go up to two thousand dollars as well and it's just that for augmented reality you can use your phone but also uh, you can actually use um, headsets and that's something to take into account when it comes to, to buying these these devices or this equipment is that make sure to check that the headset is capable of um, is capable for augmented reality type of applications because not not all headsets are out there are accredited equal that there are some for for virtual reality which it doesn't cover anything whatsoever uh, of augmented reality which is a little bit different uh, but yeah there are some headset uh, headsets out there uh, that man they can just way way pricier and you can just go up to two thousand dollars but once again if you're just playing around and just starting this uh, uh, having the feeling of how augmented reality is how maybe you see you're gonna enjoy that better than other technologies now we're gonna talk about virtual reality and virtual reality is just i mean the name by itself explains it and it's just the the full immersion of, of of the user into a virtual environment it's just basically it's, it's, that's when you see a little bit different for augmented reality is because the augmented reality somebody or the person was capable of using the real world and just basically virtual elements were displayed uh, within the virtual world however within the virtual reality uh, technology uh, this the virtual world uh, experience is just gone basically the user is just is interacting in a totally different uh, environment out there uh, which is just a cool and interesting way to to trick your brain on wh what is it exactly that you're um, w which environment you are actually uh, seeing feeling you know interacting with and that's to be honest that's I think one of my favorite the, of, of all these technologies is the virtual reality is because it's crazy how people are able or are capable of developing um, some some environments that man it just tricks the brain so well that it makes you think that uh, whatever environment that you are within that virtual world it's just good enough that you can even have a living there legit <laughs> I've seen like some other youtubers out there like experimenting for a week doing a virtual reality um, challenge and something like that for a week or so and it's just i mean it's crazy to think about it but if they are able to do that is because people can actually interact with um, a virtual world like the, the physical the real world is not actually needed whatsoever unless you need to eat and, and that sort of things of course so yeah that's one of uh the, the crazy things that about virtual reality is just you forget about the real world and all of a sudden you're you can be mars if you want and there are some examples out there uh, there are just several but the main the main examples that you can hear uh, will be for example facebook horizon or which which replaces a little bit facebook spaces but this is a new technology that that facebook um, announced a few months ago or a month, month, month or so which it's just about uh, creating a, a social media virtual reality uh, platform whatever for whoever wants to to you know to interact with other people in virtual worlds and you know being able to play chat and different different capabilities that, that Facebook will will probably start uh, will, will probably release in the in the future but yeah this is a, a cool a, a new a new technology available out there another example is just google expeditions and this is this is kind of cool um it just allows people to to travel um the world to get to know places and uh, meet uh, and interact with <clears throat> with all cultures and places 
by just having uh, a virtual headset, virtual headset, and you know, you don't have to have a lot of money to travel if you can use this application and you know, you have the headset, you're good to go. So I think that's something cool, making things just affordable for people. Who for the virtual reality, um, if you're intending to do some development on this and on the virtual reality technology, uh, you might require a little bit more pricier technology or it might be the same than the augmented reality, but uh, you might need, uh, for the most part, you might need a virtual reality headset. As far as I, as I am aware, I don't think that there's anything out there uh, available besides a headset that that mocks, uh, <clears throat> that's capable to mock a, a virtual environment and they can go from $200 to $2,000. Uh, like one of the examples uh, could be an Oculus, uh, Oculus Quest that I have here, um, Oculus Rift as well that is uh, with a core and is you, you connect it to a PC. Uh, the Oculus Quest, by the way, uh, is wireless, so it's you don't have to have uh, to be if you attach to a cable, uh, connected the cable to, to to any device, which is something cool. Um, there are others available as well. I think that the, the HTC Vive, it's is out there. Um, it's a little bit pricier because it it goes up to it can go up to like eighteen hundred. Uh, dollars or, or even more, but you know you can find all those all, all of these headset and equipment available. I mean, people are selling these things to use. So sometimes, if you have all the money to get that to get them, uh, you might find as well. Uh, finally, we have mixed reality, and mixed reality. The the way I see mixed reality is just a mixture, or just as it says, it's just a mix. <laughs> Of, uh, of of technologies and these technologies are going to be just the ones that we talk about the augmented reality and the virtual reality what it does is just it allows you to 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 extend uh, your your real world your real environment um, by using uh, virtual elements it's the way I see it and that's why the, the way I see it is just an improved version of augmented reality. Uh, and here's the key part, because it sounds similar, but at the same time, it's not completely similar. Uh, with augmented reality, you can you can actually extend virtual objects into a physical world, and that's fine. But there's no no way to interact with them. Within the mixed reality, the cool part about that is that the virtual objects uh, that are going to be placed within the physical world you're going to be able to to interact with them or the objects by themselves are going to be able to interact with the with with the physical world so th so that's something cool uh, that, that just allows people to to who don't like to be immersed immerse themselves in, in into a different uh, virtual world like the virtual reality does but it just allows them to to keep themselves within the same physical world and, and you know being able to interact with with virtual objects for this uh, for the mixed reality uh, it also uses uh, headsets for the most part and if you're gonna start doing some development on, development on mixed reality uh, probably the headsets or the glasses they look more like glasses are gonna are gonna be a little bit more expensive you can find from $500 glasses which actually it's, it's crazy to think about but that's actually fairly cheap um, and then you can find from 500 500 headset headsets for mixed reality to up to four thousand dollars I mean one of the most uh, common examples uh, or the most popular uh, mixed reality headsets available are the Microsoft HoloLens 2. That one I think costs somewhere around $3,500, which is it's quite expensive. And then there's another one, the, the Magic Leap. The Magic Leap is for, I think the price is set for $2,300 somewhere around the price so it's a little bit cheaper uh, but yeah those are the main competitors competitors out there 
And if you're mixed reality, it's got uh, a lot of examples as well for education, engineering, and healthcare industries. And you know, I think that whether it's mixed reality or is or is a um, virtual reality, augmented reality, there will be examples for pretty much several different industries. Uh, but the main uh, examples that come up to my mind, for example, in the mixed reality, are these. Uh, let's just picture the engineering. You can have a team, uh, a remote, a remote team, being able to collaborate, share, uh, work on the same project, being able to to work on a mock-up of of a new car model from different parts of the world, and being able to make changes live by using holographic images that are going to be displayed through through the smart glasses and being able to, to interact with them and make changes and adjust uh, and adjust the model based on, on on the representation that is being displayed through through the smart glasses so i think that that's something that's pretty cool um yeah there are just so many options uh when it comes to there are so many possibilities are out there when it comes to to two examples and, and potential uh, applications that could be done and could be could help um, <clears throat> our our the business processes. Finally, the last question is: Which technology is better? Well, I personally enjoy more virtual reality, and that's just a personal opinion. I just think that it's just crazy to think that how how somebody or how a team of developers it, are, are, are capable of mocking or faking the brain and <clears throat> faking the brain uh, and giving them the human the sensation that it's just living uh, even though it's within a virtual world it's just living and interacting with different elements virtual objects being able to feel um, for example if we're using the the that's one of the things that I was playing with with the Oculus the first time and I opened it is that through through the through the controllers it was crazy but I was actually being able to to feel a little bit uh, the sensation of grabbing elements and throwing elements and punching elements so that's something that I was I thought it was cool it was ah that just that's just a personal opinion I thought that it's something that uh, it's got a lot of potential as well. Uh, augmented reality has got has got cool stuff as well as well as mixed reality. You know, at the end, I don't think there's there's not a better technology. I think that there's there's gonna be good there's gonna be technologies that are gonna be better uh, for specific industries and for the specific applications within the industries. So, for example, you might have. Uh, like, like the very first thing that I can think of is uh, you can provide training uh, to, to personnel um, that might be handling equipment and like under extreme scenarios, but they have never uh, manipulated uh, expensive equipment. So, well, the very first thing that I can think of is just creating a virtual world and boom, you're safe. You don't have to worry about where the employee is breaking the, the equipment or the, te the, the employee getting harmed by just experiencing or doing uh, or dealing or manipulating the equipment for the first time. Another example that I can think of is just, uh, as I said before, in the mixed reality, having collaborative teams around the world working around the same project visualizing vis, visualizing the the 3d models for example of a car and seeing what kind of changes they are making live what kind of adjustments uh, for example of the length of the car the lights uh, the design of the lights and that sort of thing so it just depends on what what is it that you're looking for or what you're looking to solve what you're looking to to improve so overall there's gonna there's there's a lot of things that you can accomplish with with these technologies but uh, I think that the the future is bright there will be a lot of companies out there that will be will be paying a lot of money and will will invest a lot of money on this type of application just because the 
the ideas and the possibilities are, are infinite. It's just, it's fairly new. At the same time, people are embracing it, but at the same time, it's not embraced completely. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see which which one of them uh, will will take off. Uh, which one, which one of these technologies, the AR, virtual reality, uh, or mixed reality. However, if you think uh, that there's one particular particular technology that is gonna take off, uh, please leave me your comments and share share your thoughts uh, about these technologies. Maybe you have a cool example out there of real world example. Uh, available out there uh, they would like to share just leave it in the comments for everybody to to check it out and, and, and see if we can probably start working something similar to that in our tutorials in the future